Hello, and welcome to our presentation. I'm Kyle Ness, the director of Group 7, and we've named ourselves the Rangers in homage to the elite division that stormed the beaches of Normandy. This presentation is a follow-up to our production of the show itself, and our intention is to build context and make connections between the script and the syllabus. Our story was inspired by the film Saving Private Ryan. We've taken liberties with the script to add and subtract scenes, condense characters, and put emphasis on themes we felt connected to the study of management. Our vision is to use the film as a backdrop to our plot, just how the show Fargo references the Cullen Brothers film. Our protagonist, Captain Miller, is giving a candid interview with a cor war correspondent for the Officer Candidate School. The story is being told through him, and the audience will hear his perspective as a manager of his squad. The story goes, Captain Miller, as surviving the Normandy Beach landing, has been sent on a mission by the High Brass to locate an airborne private and send him home. This is a PR mission that goes against the basic war calculus. This risks the lives of eight men to save the life of one. As a group of undergraduate students creating a show for other undergraduate students, we wanted to make the story relatable. The Second World War was a human experience that will hopefully never be replicated, but at its core, it was masses of ordinary people forced with a monumentous task. It wasn't just superior weapons or numbers, it was efficient management that made the war a victory for the Allies. Most of said management consisted of frontline and middle managers, sergeants, lieutenants, captains, colonels. In the military, generals are like the executive officers of corporations. These are both top-down hierarchies that should, both, that should ring familiar to our audience. For these reasons, students can watch our show and relate to Captain Miller, a middle manager whose tasks include giving orders as well as taking them. None of us will graduate and get a position right away as a CEO, so it's best to focus on an obtainable goal by being a middle manager and an effective one like Captain Miller. The characters are both borrowed from the script and added using history as a guide. From U.S. Army Chief of Staff General Marshall to Private Jackson, the dialogue is written in a way that can tell that an audience member could tell what the pecking order is based on their exchanges. Captain Miller, as we've said, is our protagonist. General Marshall, the U.S. Army Chief of Staff, we can call him a CEO type. Uh, Sergeant Horvath is a uh, uh, direct subordinate of Captain Miller. Corporal Upham, with his uh, formal rank as a corporal, is higher than the privates, Jackson, Ryben, Malish, Caparzo, and, and Wade, and Private Ryan himself. Uh, but his lack of combat experience really negates his formal authority within the group. We also see Lieutenant Colonel Anderson, Captain Hamill, and Sergeant Hill as peripheral characters that also help move the plot along. Uh, in the case of Captain Hamill, uh, one notices that Captain Miller and he speak candidly to each other. Steamboat Willie, uh, it, it's shown that he is the German POW and becomes the focus of the managerial ethics that uh, Captain Miller showcases. And Private Ryan, he is the VIP, he is the private that they are sent to rescue. From Marshall to Eisenhower to Miller, the concepts of strategical and, cap uh, and tactical planning are the most obvious themes. Controlling by assessing the success or failure of objectives uh, follows with planning. Organizational structure and design, we've gone over, but to reiterate, it's about a top-down hierarchy. Miller's men come from different geographical and socioeconomic backgrounds, but at the top, the generals and the armies that follow them are from different nations. 
motivation and leadership is something that we took different takes on. In the film, Hanks, played by Captain Miller, was actually done in such a way that the U.S. Army Rangers inducted him into their Hall of Fame for his authentic portrayal of the character. We have also included uh, Patton's famous speech that he gave to the Third Army on the eve of the invasion. But social responsibility and ethics come into play with Steamboat Willie, the German POW that the that the group spares, uh, even though had they killed him, uh, no one would have ever found out about it. it. It really is a part that shows how authentic of a person Captain Miller is. Organizational change is depicted in our show uh, by showing how fluid Miller's uh, command is. Uh, at the beginning, he's a captain, so he's overseeing about 300 men, um, and that's dwindled down to to the seven men that are under him on the mission. Uh, there's a significant line in, in the film where when Sergeant Horvath asks, so they're taking your company away? Miller responds by saying, well, it's not my company, it's the Army's. Here we have quotes that certainly that, that certainly certainly apply to our show and not only the show itself but the, the concept of management as a study. Uh, we try to put into words uh, the experience around us and as managers of uh, both this project and out in the workforce, uh, we're, we're constantly trying to, to find what makes a great manager. Uh, Peter Drucker's quote uh, is universal because money can be recruited, people can be replaced, buildings can be built, destroyed and rebuilt, uh, but time can never really be made up. Uh, the last three quotes certainly apply to Captain Miller as his dynamic environment certainly challenges him to maintain order throughout the chaos of combat. Our reflections all center around the theme of coming together and using our own strengths to contribute. As a director, I really strive to create something that, that does require a little more effort from the audience to connect our class's material to something that is very much a part of our collective heritage. Andy and Shauna were crucial to the nuts and the bolts project, like the presentations itself and the milestone submissions. And Andy is also a great editor. Nathan's technical know-how uh, really helped us film in a way that I didn't know was, was even going to be possible. So we are very much in debt to him for that. Uh, Noah, interesting fact, uh, speaks English as a third language. And her perspective and input has helped us shape our show. Uh, she also helped us really, really by bringing some characters to life that I didn't think were going to be possible. Our recommendations uh, to future students are, we recommend not procrastinating. Uh, meet in person as often as you can. Uh, we had a great group chat going the entire semester through text messaging, and it, it really did help us at, at least say, hey, uh, What's this? What's that? It, it helped us keep on top of, of things. Uh, never assume that someone else will pick up the slack, but also never assume that you have to do everything because it's, it really is counterproductive and adds a lot more stress than is really needed. Uh, we, we really recommend not, not getting tunnel vision. And what I mean by that is, we became so focused on the show itself and creating something wonderful that we had to retroactively create this presentation. Uh, you could call it putting the cart before the horse. Anyway, that's our time. And if you can, check out our show on YouTube. Thank you.